Hey guys! When we're writing a story, we spend a lot of time focusing on finding and creating and building the perfect main character and the perfect side characters and just having this perfect character symmetry. But I propose that we spend just as much time finding the voice of the narrator. The narrator that narrates the story's narration. That may seem like a really simple and not super important thing, but it is, my dear writers, it is. Example. In life, everyone has their own viewpoint of a story. When they're telling a story, it should take ten people. Each person's viewpoint of an event will be completely different than the next guy's because the way they view it, the way they perceive it, is filtered through their life, through their experience. When it comes to fiction, fiction isn't necessarily fictional. It's not a lie. But instead, it's a true representation of the distortion that everyone makes of life. That's why it's critical to have the perfect voice, perfect narrator telling your story. Because ultimately, it is told through their distortion of how they saw the story, the situation of the event of this person. So what distortion do you want to take? So how do I come up with the perfect narrator, you ask? Well, I'll tell you what I do and maybe it will work for you. So, my dear writers, that didn't work. Consider this. So you have this idea. You want to tell it to the viewpoint of Josie, let's say, okay? This is really not that fun. If you get three-thirds of the way through your story, you finished your story, and you suddenly realized this story would work far better if Patrick told it instead of Josie. Dang it! So... To avoid that problematic issue, I have this trick I like to do. Before I actually write the three-thirds of the story, before the first third is even started, I go through the story, before I actually write it, through different narrator's voices. Is it told better through Josie? Is it told better through Patrick? Does Marcy tell it better? You know, is it told better through the main character, through the side character, through this anonymous person that you actually never know, through the dog, through the cloud, through some speck of dust floating by? Who is the perfect character to convey the kind of distortion that you want that will actually grab the reader, grab them, and pull them in and never let them go? In a way, Metaphorically, it's like trying on different hats and finding which one works the best, which one fits. For instance, this one, darling, this one, how about this one, this one, Hair. So when you find that perfect hat, go for it. Do it. Yes, to the best of your ability. There you have it, guys. That's what I do. There is my secret to finding the perfect narrator. I hope that helps in any way at all. I will call you later. Talk. I will talk. I'll talk to you later. If you haven't, please subscribe and turn on the notifications so you know when I put out a new video because I don't have a schedule. It's all on the element of surprise. Yeah, that, that, that's my plan. Turn on the notifications so you're not so surprised and you get notified. Give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it and drop me a comment to tell me what do you think on how do you deal with the narration of your stories. And remember to keep writing no matter what happens because your writer's voice is unique. There is no other voice like it and it needs to be heard. So be heard. Say it. I'm Sarah. Cheers. <laughs>